Hey guys, I wanted to talk to you about jester boxes. This is an easy nuke. Uh, it was originally designed by Kevin Jester. He's a local over this way. Uh, they're pretty popular now. Uh, a lot of people call them just by jester box. That's what I call them. It is a five frame nuke box pretty durable it's not cardboard it's plastic corrugated material it comes in a sheet that you fold up it has ventilation all the way around and a nice folding door these are really good for selling bees in selling a five frame nucleus colony uh, because they're bee tight the bees don't leak out they're very light and they're ventilated so they're a good thing to have in the apiary, a uh, good thing to keep in your truck. Uh, great for making splits. They last a few years if you keep them out of the sun uh, when you're not using them. And all around, they're, they're a great product. I really like them. So, I thought I would show you how we fold these up. <clears throat> Now, there are different ways to do this, I'm sure, but I will show you how I start. So you see there is a ink spot with the name, that is the outside. I start with the lid when I fold them. I take my thumbs and I bend these over and bend them in, then I fold the top down and you mostly just want to get them before they bend easier sometimes it can be a little stiffer depending on the temperature of the boxes but you get one corner down and you fold this corner and fold these in so that's the lid then I start by flexing this stuff and bending it and I go to this side flex it in make it make it bend now this L shape you'll let your back flap down let it rest on what is the bottom of the nuke box and you're going to fold in your L like so and this box is going to give me a little trouble this batch here as you can see, even when I have it right, it's a little bit off in this groove. This is where this tab has to pop and go through there. So, it's still doable, but do you see how that bottom one is completely uh, a complete slot? That's really how you want them so you don't have to fight them. But... That just so happens to be the one I picked up, so we're going to force it on through. And when you force it like that, you kind of crimp it up a little. It really don't bother nothing. Now, you have this little foldy deal on the side. This goes facing outward. You'll fold that down as well, and you'll fold that little tab down also. And that will push you down and make your frame rest now you've got it you've got it through this hole you're going to bend that perforation and come through your slot stick your fingers through and pop it through the second slot on the back now this little hand hold you can leave it alone or you can fold it in I like to fold it in because it's nice and neat that's your hand hold. Now, then I just flip it over in my lap, do the same thing. The bottom goes in. I like to break over this little side piece a little. And it goes in. Now the top piece folds down. And I hold it with my hand. Now you can see this one 
will work very well and I won't have to fight it to get it in. Now, I hold it with my hand and this bottom perforation, you can brace it with your thumb and then you pick up the inside wall there. Because sometimes it's, those little perforations can be a little stiff, but once you bend them, they give really easily. Then I'm going to fold it down again. Hold this over with my hand. Like so, and... Pop that in, fold my tab over, fold this tab down. Pop it. Bend it. Goes through. Like so. Now you can get where you can do these really quickly. Some people work them on a table. Um, it's, it can be a little easier if you have hand strength problems working them on a table. I really, I just sit on a couch or chair and watch TV while I while I do this or watch YouTube, watch videos, get caught up on my videos, uh, maybe watch some documentaries, try to learn a little something and zone out and fold these up. They, uh, they're a little bit of a pain, but they're the best thing on the market, honestly. There's nothing really uh, that can compare. You have the, uh, I think they're called Pro Nukes. It's a plastic tote looking type uh, nuke box it, you're seeing more and more of those I've never handled any of them um, I have heard some complaints about them being brittle uh, if it's colder weather um, I've heard about them leaking bees uh, I really don't know the price is slightly more expensive than the gesture boxes but honestly these gesture box uh, keep going up every year um, there's a, almost a $2 increase from last year buying it by the pallet. So, uh, like I said, they're, they're really good. The, there's a cardboard, actually a waxed, a uh, waxed cardboard nuke box that you can buy, but they don't stand the weather. Um, they'll last for a little bit, uh, as a transfer box for your customers. But if you have any kind of delays or, you have to leave these nukes outside, then you're asking for trouble. Uh, if the bees are in them very long at all, they will absolutely chew through them. Um, they'll be looks like little balls of hair where they've uh, just shredded and fluffed up this this cardboard uh, where they're chewing holes in them. So these these work great. Uh, you can use them year to year. The bees, if you do leave them in there for a long time, uh, they will often propolize some of these holes and decrease your ventilation. Uh, otherwise, they're, they're pretty good, pretty hardy. And uh, if you get little duct tape sticks, sticks well to them, so if you get little cracks or anything along the hinges or, or things like that, they work pretty well just uh, taping them so I guess you can tell I'm a fan of the gesture box now like I was talking they're expensive boy they're expensive um, and you can pass part of that cost on to your new customers but I mean what are you going to do and the prices keep going up now this is a Chinese gesture box knockoff you can look right away and see some major differences like this uh, it doesn't have the door flap it's considerably considerably thinner I actually tore this one uh, while it was over there it's, it's considerably thinner and it looks like it's much more difficult to fold but uh, we have some of these, and I'm, I'm going to give them a try and see. They're, uh, I think, roughly like $7. So you're looking at $3 savings and over a couple hundred. You know, that adds up uh, a few hundred. So let's fold this thing up. I'm going to start with the, start with the lid again. The perforations don't seem to be... Uh, 
is easy to pop loose without bending the uh, actual box material. There's our lid folded. Break that lid down. Let's uh, pre-bend. Well, I'm trying to bend and it wants to It's much softer, I guess is a good way to say it. It's just, it's soft and uh, everything else wants to bend when you try to break it along the perforations, which is frustrating. So I think it's going to take much more time to bend because it doesn't want to bend along the perforations. Okay, now we got this in. Hold this over this way. Well, this one bent better than the gesture boxes. Sometimes they got a little extra bracing through here. And sometimes like the whole corner wants to bend over like that, uh, but it's really not a big deal. They form right back. So there we got that. Get that lined up this way. The uh, frame rest seems to be much thinner. If I can get it folded up, I'll show you. Get this. Okay. If you can fold a gesture box, you can fold this thing. It's just... Uh, more difficult. It needs a firmer hand, but it won't tolerate it at the same time because it's soft and flimsy. All right. So Sorry guys, you can't. The uh, inside for the frame rest, you have to actually fold it again where it wants to pop back out on itself and it's uh dad blast it. Frustrating. So there's the frame rest. Now, same difference with the gesture. Boy, making this look awkward, ain't it? See the the perforation on this one. You can't, can't tell where it's at on the inside, so you gotta I guess do that before. Get it all flexed up there.
this this box just wants to fight you. It just wants to fight. It is a. Uh, Well guys, if I didn't have the camera on, I'd have thrown this thing already. There we go. Like I said, this, this blasted thing wants to fight you every step of the way. Well, we did it. We did it. Now this box is a lot heavier duty, a lot more solid uh, than this Chinese box. You can see difference in the entrance. Um, durability, I'm sure, is not as strong. It's a very soft material. Um, you see the jester lid? It comes all the way and seals. You see this lid here? There's a gap there. And that rest is nothing. So I can see that this box is going to leak. Could very easily leak bees. It may not, but it could very easily. Um, Three dollars is a lot of money. I think this would hold bees. I'm curious about uh, you can see the frame rest difference. The differences in the frame rest are dramatic. If I have a If I had a tape measure right there, I'd take a measurement, but so this was only one knuckle and the other is almost two. So it's it's at least half the distance. Um, this box is probably gonna require tape as well. Now they're cheap enough, and I think that once you got bees in them, that they would do just fine. The problem is, is I wouldn't want to sit here and fold a hundred of these because I think it would take me twice as long. The gesture box, good solid box. It just feels different. You ever just feel products and you can just feel quality in them, feel the, des the superiority of a design. Uh, it's it's kind of like that. I know you can't hold this little box over here, but um, it feels cheap. It feels soft, and it doesn't feel sturdy. Um, this gesture box feels secure and well put together, well designed. But that's that. I'm going to fold one more together for y'all. Maybe with a little less talking, just to show you how much easier that it actually is. The perforations. They 
break over much simpler in the gesture box. Definitely something you want to do with some entertainment going, some music or uh, YouTube, something, you know, because it's really not a fun time, honestly, but needs done. Well, guys, I hope that helped somebody. I hope you found it entertaining <laughs> somewhat and, and helpful. If you have any questions about the gesture boxes or folding them, just leave it in the comments, and I'll catch you guys around.